Hi, Bethany. My name's Kelly, and I have been embarrassed about my eyebrows for as long as I can remember. I overplucked them in grade nine and have had the hardest time growing them back ever since. I've become so insecure about my eyebrows that I've resorted to coloring them in every single day. I spend half of my morning on my eyebrows and I'm not even doing it right. So please, Bethany, if there is anybody that can help me, I know that it's you. So please, Bethany, help my eyebrows. See you soon. Oh, oh, that was Kelly. She needs a brow breakthrough. So many of us don't even look at our eyebrows. We don't even think about them. And some people have a unibrow, the big two cat. I used to have two caterpillars over my eyes. It's a brow issue. People don't know what they're doing. And I've gone to a bunch of different people and I'll just get it done in any nail salon until I met this man who's here today. His name is Joey Healy and he is an eyebrow expert. And people pay a lot of money to learn what you're about to learn here today. So pay attention because I want you to understand how to do your own brows and not be a hot mess. Okay, so tell me what the most common problem with brows are and how we solve these problems. I think the, a very common problem we see, just like Kelly, is a little bit of overworking the brow. So really what you want to know is know your eyebrow dimensions. That is the secret, ladies, for everyone at home. Know your eyebrow That's dimensions. That's number one. Know your eyebrow dimensions. How do we figure, what does that even mean? Show us how. Three steps, guys. Finding your dimensions, you can all do this at home. First step, where should they begin? I call this the head. That is the bridge of your nose, ladies. Not the nostril, it's really the bridge. You wanna get right up there, you can do it with a pencil, you can do it with Oh, so that's showing where it should begin. Absolutely. Now, okay. Kelly's just a touch off, no big deal, easy breezy. We're gonna use a little bit of a brow powder. This is an ashy tone. So don't use the pencil too dark, use the powder. You know what, it's more natural. Got this it. ash color's perfect for her. She was doing something a little bit too rich and mm -hmm. chocolatey, and we just wanna do something a little easier. Because people have dark hair, think they're supposed to go really black, exactly. and it's too much. I would that's that too. Thinking. Absolutely. So go more. Look at this. This is almost like a muddy gray. Would never yeah. guess Okay. It. Then what's the second thing we need? Second to step, guys. Where should they end? What's the ending of them? The tail. If you make an imaginary line, the corner of the nose to the corner of the eye, that's the bare minimum that you should be able to hit. You that's can, easy. Very easy. If you get a little too low, it can end up looking a little droopy. It can pull yes, the eye down. Yes, you have down. to open your eyes up. People think long tails are glamorous. There is too much of a good thing in that case, right? Okay. Last yeah. step is Third. the arch. I mean, hello. That's like the holy grail. The arch really matters. Every well embrowed woman needs an arch. Well, in brown. I'm telling you. <laughs> you are going to be real, well in brown. All right, so you how do we be. find the arch? Two thirds of the way out. Super simple. We know where they begin. We know where they end. It should be exactly here. Two thirds of the way out. I just want to put a little emphasis right here. Kelly's brows before, her arch was a little bit too severe. The arch is just the highest point in your brow. It doesn't have to be crazy. Everyone, you but you need see... a little something. You don't want to have just round. It should you be a little something. You need a little something. something. And also, Kelly's arch before was a little centered. That's another huge problem I see, a centered arch. Most people arch. do the arch and center, that's crazy. You look like that vote, that, that look. Hello. That it's, pointy, it's, like. It's a little surprise. Star Trek. Exactly. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead Next on the question. other side and just fly okay, through. Okay, let's discuss tweezing, waxing, or threading. Have you guys ever heard of threading? I've done all. I still have been cheating on you sometimes because I, I don't see you all the time. I've been doing it myself. What do we do? I'll tell you what, tweezing is definitely the best. It's hair by hair. It's the most artistic, the most precise. When Kelly goes home, she can do her own maintenance with tweezing. You're not into waxing at all or threading You know at what? All? Waxing, there's heat, there's chemicals, you can get burned. Threading, to be honest with you, a lot of girls come to me, it's the hardest mistakes to actually fix when people thread because they always get asymmetrical. Okay. So, so you better be careful. So let's see, first of all, how do you, let me look, let me show this. Yeah, show it to how Kelly. How do you think that you look right now? They look amazing. Do you think they look better? They look so much more natural, have, yeah. The before and after. Yes. Yes, they were, they look like you were wearing like costume eyebrows. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right, well, good news for everyone here in the audience. Everyone in the audience is getting a complimentary visit to the Joey Healy Brow Lab at Completely Bare. <laughs> The okay. best. Thank you. That's so You're generous so of welcome. you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Look you. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, oh. you. thank you. Thank you. Coming up, what the hell do I get myself into? Coming up, Dita Von Teese is here to show us all the moves we can use to find our inner sexy. Maybe I'll be doing a little burlesque dancing. You don't want to miss it when we come back.